Have you ever wanted a particular slasher horror film to come out that would pretty much lay waste to any of those assholes who obnoxiously ruin the movie going experience for you? Well, I've got the movie for you. It's called The Last Matinee. It is a delightful little romp uh, from Argentina, I believe in co-production with Uruguay. And um, <laughs> it is an absolute joy to watch. I mean, it's not exactly, it won't be making your best of slashers list, but suffice to say, this is still a film made with the absolute love and devotion to the genre. In particular, there's a lot of affection it has for Jalo films, even down to the fact you get the killer with the rubber with the black gloves, and there is a lot of emphasis on eye mutilation in this film. I'm talking the kind that would make Lucio Fulci have an erection. I mean, there is a lot of eye abuse in this movie, but frankly, it's kind of right and it's kind of perfect that you have a killer stalking people in a movie theater because what's the one thing you can pretty much guarantee that everyone's gonna be using in spades in a movie theater? Their eyes. So you, you're pretty confident that not only are they gonna have eyes, but they're, they're gonna work. So you have a killer going around taking a melon baller <laughs> and peeling out people's eyes. So the gore in this movie is exceptional. I mean, there is some great uh, gore in this film. So if you're a gore hound who wants to see some of that, and not only that, but seeing it happen to the kind of people who you just wish you could just step up and just beat the shit out of, who is ruining your movie-going experience, this movie does a great job, you know, kind of venting those demons for you. Now, I would say the film is, would be, like, transcendent, like, great, but there are little things uh, that kind of keep it from the level of greatness that I feel that it aspires to. I mean... Uh, for one thing, unfortunately, the plot progression is kind of exactly as you would expect it to do. Honestly, I was kind of hoping that instead of just relying on one heroine figure, I was kind of hoping that uh, there were more survivors, principally because they do such a good job establishing the crew that kind of in the final stretch you were hoping would be that route. Just be, you know just for a nice uh, change of pace. That would have been one thing. But the major thing that just had me kind of giggling and not in a... Uh, fun sort of way, but more just, really, you couldn't have sprung for a little, you put so much money in the in the budget for the gore, you couldn't, you know, get a better looking murder weapon. This is the weapon of choice for the killer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. This is what he's using throughout the bulk of the movie. The only thing they do with it is that on up close shots, they make it look a little bit more, like, rusted. But here I am looking at this sucker going like, this is his weapon! Ah, 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 ah